Hey folks, welcome back for another video. Today we are looking at question 13, Roman 2 integer. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by looking at each uh, and every character within the string itself and try to compare it with the character that comes right after. And based on whether the value is greater than or not, we'll base, base a computation based on uh, based on that. So let's jump right in. The first thing that we need to do is we need to initialize a map that will do uh, the mapping that we see right here. So uh, the character with its numerical value. So once we have that set up, the next thing that we need to do is actually initialize a result that will be set to zero initially. And that's what we will be returning in the end uh, that will store the result. And then next we have, and that will get the length of the string. And now we need to iterate through all the characters in the string so we'll have a while loop and the reason why we are using a while loop and not a for loop is because sometimes uh, we would have to increment i by two and sometimes by one based on the computation that we're doing so uh, that's the reason why we have a while loop okay cool so let's get the current value that we're looking at so first for that we need to identify which uh, which character that you're looking at and we will do that using the substring um so this will give us one like the current character and then what is the current value so we get the character but what value does it map to so the way we get that is by just pulling that value map.get current and let's just initialize um the next value and let's just set it to zero for now and we will see why we are doing that and if i plus one is less than n which means that hey there is a character that uh, comes right after the character that we're looking at then you will get the next um, uh, next character and the reason why we are doing that is because if a character occurs after a particular character and it's greater than we would have to subtract uh, those two values to add that to the sum so it's one uh, i plus two Right, and then the next val would be equal to map.get Right, so we have the current value on the next value and the thing we need to do now is just check hey if next value Is greater than the current value So if it is true you would just add the difference between them so next val minus current val. And since we are taking into account two characters and we're adding that to the sum, you would increment i by two. And that's the reason why we are using a while loop and not a for loop so that we can control that at a granular level. And then if it is actually oh, not true, where next value is not greater than the current value, you would just add um, the current value to the um to the result and just increment it by one right and then you would return the result in the end that's awesome let's quickly compile this and see if it's okay uh while i wait okay let's initialize i right um let's try running it again okay so the first test case is okay and Everything else is okay as well. Perfect. So let's quickly talk about the space and the time complexities. Um, the time complexity would be of n since we're uh, going through all of um, the characters in the string. And the space complexity would be of 1. Even though we're using a map, it's not incrementally growing. Um, the size would stay constant. And there's a reason why we have the space complexity to be 1. Uh, awesome. So that's the solution to this problem. If there are any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And please, please don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And if there are any other problems that you want me to solve on lead code, also please let me know in the comments below. I would be more than happy to solve them for you. See you all in the next video. Peace.